Hey, Monroe Live fans, we're back at the ACT Expo. We're here today with Darren Tasker from Volvo Group, from Volvo Penta Group. Um, and uh, Darren, do you want to introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, certainly. And it's a great opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, my name is Darren Tasker. I'm head of uh, industrial sales and support for Volvo Penta here in North America. Yeah, and we know you're famous for there's you know marine engines, in, uh, industrial applications, but you guys have been doing a lot of work in elect electrification. That's true. So, that's true. And I shared a bit with you that our subscribers love to hear the technical details. So feel free to start like right here with your gearbox. Maybe I should just start with our role in the Volvo Group just to just yes. to set the scene as, as such. So Volvo Penta is the component supplier of the Volvo Group. Uh, mm -hmm. We take uh, core Volvo Group components, um, products that, that are developed for other Volvo Group applications, such as trucks, buses, construction equipment, yeah. and we'll take those core components, we'll, we'll add our own R&D, our own uh, adap adaptation of those core components to really turn them into products that we can sell to OEMs. Yeah. Uh, so the electric driveline, the, the, the internal combustion engines are core Volvo Group components that we've adapted at Volvo Penta to suit the markets that we want to sell them to. Yeah. Okay. Um, so an example of that is uh, gearbox here, for example, is part of the electric driveline um, components that we sell to OEMs building terminal tractors or fire trucks when they want to electrify. So we sell it together with the battery. The battery uh, powers the electric motors. Yeah. And the electric motors uh, go, we go through the gearbox here and transfers the power to a prop shaft, which will drive the, the vehicle along the road or the machine. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is, this is a, um, a gearbox that will be found in, a, in an electric Volvo truck. Um, and we're, so we're taking reliable, proven technology that's, that's got thousands of hours of use on it. And we're adapting it together with batteries, high voltage cables, uh, cooling systems, and, and you know many other components, and turning it into an electric driveline that we can sell to a manufacturer of, of, of all sorts of different machines. So it sounds like a complete unit. It is, we, are, we, are, we are selling a, just the same as we do on the diesel side, we're selling a drive line. Uh, we're selling a drive line, and I heard you mention a thermal system in there, right? That's like true. The battery and gearbox and motors, straightforward. But then the thermal system to go with it. Interesting, you know, the the we have cooling systems on internal combustion engines to yeah. to, to take away the heat. Um, in a battery, we want to keep the temperature at a consistent right. twenty five degrees C. Right. And you know, so that sometimes is heating it. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's cooling it. Right. depending on ambient conditions. Yeah. Um, so we have a thermal management system rather than a cooling system. Right. Because we're right. going up and down. Yeah, yeah, that's so, right. So, you know, battery life, these are high density batteries that we use uh, to, to power on highway trucks and construction machines. So these are very high density batteries. Um, the way to get the optimum life out of a high density battery is to manage the temperature. So you mentioned high density batteries. Our subscribers love to hear, like, what's the battery format, right? Cylindrical, pouch, and any details, what's the, the chemistry? Can you share any yeah. of that with us? So it's lithium ion, uh, NMC, yeah. um, technology inside the battery, uh, cylindrical cells. Um, Can you say who the supplier is of the Volvo. cells? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. All right, let's move over this way. Yeah. So it's it, we, we obviously the cells come from come from a cell cell manufacturer, and we we package we we uh, we package you know we take the cells and then we package the battery. Right. You know, I was reading you've got some collaboration, three different ones I read about with an electric fire truck. That's right. That's Ro right. Rosenbauer. Rosenbauer, yep. And then electric excavators with Gradol. That's true. Right, and you have you have your own That's construction true. equipment, and then terminal tractors. That's right. Which seems like a very straightforward, very. I uh, mean, it's it's um, application with Tico. Tyco. Yep. Tyco. Yep. So um, Tyco, we're just over here. Um, but uh, yeah, we 
when, when we take the driveline, when we come up with the driveline solution, there are certain applications which suit electrification or early adopters. Yeah. And terminal tractors are often used in the same place. Distribution centers, ports, yeah. you know, so charging infrastructure is possible, you know, it's, it, it, repeatable routes. Exactly. And, yeah, and, and you know, the charging time on our, on our, on our, on our solution that we're offering uh, to Tyco on a terminal tractor is 45 minutes for full charge. Wow. Now that's, you know, if you break that down, I mean, I, we don't have to get into 50% charge is going to be right, 22 right. and a half minutes, and et cetera, et cetera. So I mean, coffee break, you can get, you can yeah. get, you can get some energy into that machine. Right. Uh, certainly from a lunch break, you can probably get, yeah. you know, almost a full charge in there if it's not completely dead right. when you start having lunch. So, I mean, it's, I, I think it's a workable solution. It's something that the drivers like. Well, the one thing that we found that was, I mean, we should have known it perhaps, but I wasn't, you, you know, it, it, it came when we started putting some units in the field is that the drivability of an electric machine is is, is very nice. Yes. Um, the regenerative braking works extremely well. Yeah. So we slow the machine down on the regenerative braking and not necessarily on, on right. brakes. So you get less brake wear. Um, you know, terminal tractors start and stop a lot, so right. less brake wear is less maintenance. And the, just the drivability, you know, the fifth wheel, when you when you raise the fifth wheel on the terminal tractor, diesel t terminal tractor, you have to feather the throttle to get the RPM up. Uh, you know, with electric machine, you just press a button and the fifth wheel comes up. And so the drivers really like uh, electric machines, which low noise as well, low, yeah. no vibration. Yeah. Um, you know, there are benefits of electrification, which are kind of outside of what you would, you know, don't typically get talked oh, about. You learn about it, you know, yeah. over time. So it's good. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, and then I know tomorrow you're speaking about your, I think it's called the BESS yeah, uh, so, system. So tell us a little bit about uh, yeah, this. So this is, a, this is a battery energy storage subsystem, yeah. which uh, makes up the, the BESS uh, letters. Um, so this is built in conjunction with our partner UIG. So our strategy of being a component supplier is not changing. We're a component supplier when it comes to engines, we're a component supplier when it comes to electric drive lines, and we're a component supplier when it comes to best units. So we supply the batteries, the junction boxes, the ECUs, the cooling box. So this is the thermal management um, uh, component. The same component we offer for, for, for mobile applications too. We use the same thermal management system for the batteries. And if we go around the other side, perhaps we can see the, the, the batteries. So this is the same battery that, ah, the, the, that we had in the, the white there. So we have six batteries here. One, two, three, four, five, six batteries uh, that make up a complete energy storage unit. We provide the batteries, the high voltage cables, the components and then our partner UIG in this case builds it into a complete system. Okay. So, this, so this, this this can be used for for charging stations. So we, we can we can we can put an inverter on on or UIG can put an in, inverter on here and we can use it for charging uh, construction machines or trucks. Yeah. Or it can be used for 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 um, emergency backup for a facility or it can be used um, as part of the grid um, moving to more distributed generation the ele of the electrical grid, we, we, can, we can use it for that. Or we can use it for applications, for different applications where we need a uh, very, very quick response of, of, of energy. Yeah, like out at mining sites or... Exactly. Yeah, we've, you know, we've, remote locations where yeah. we need charging. We don't see that the charging, so this is going to be the end game when it comes to charging but because probably infrastructure is going to catch up eventually yeah. um, but there are still some applications where we do need there's still always going to be applications where we need remote energy yeah yeah and how new is this like you already have i assume you already have some out in the field that we've got we've got a few out in the field now uh, we started started off with uh, obviously the battery technology is moving quickly yeah. Uh, so we started off with a 66 kilowatt hour battery, which was completely different shape to this. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on to these batteries, which are a 90 kilowatt hour battery. 
Um, and, and, and so, so this is our second generation um, of, of BESH unit, um, but it's our fourth generation of batteries. So things are moving, things are moving quite quickly. And it looks like it's modular. It right. is. So if you have some upgraded battery oh, technology, these go out, some new ones go in. Well, I mean, modular in two ways. Uh, the batteries are, can, can be changed out fa fairly, fairly quickly. Um, but this is also modular that, you know, this is a, this is a pack of six batteries, um, 540 kilowatt hours. Yeah. Um, but you can, you can multiply this up as many times as you like. So we've got some, some, some applications that are multiple megawatts. Of, of, of energy storage needed. And this is the design to be modular in terms of adding as yeah. many of the six packs Scalable. together as, to meet, as uh, needed. What? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Hey, yes, we have this giant uh, uh, front loader yep. Yep. behind and electric. Exactly, so the same batteries are in uh, this has got the previous generation batteries in, but the, 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 the next machine down, the excavator, has, has these same batteries inside the excavator. So these are, these are Volvo Group in uh, batteries. Same gearbox, electric uh, Same motors. gearbox, yep, yep. So it's commonality across, uh, across the group, which I think yeah. is great. I mean, let's not forget also that we've got our current uh, internal combustion engines too. So yeah. we're looking at alternative fuels with internal combustion engines. Uh, all of the Volvo internal combustion engines can run on renewable diesel. I read that. Yeah, that's. I was impressed with that. That's. So, uh, uh, you know, so we're not forgetting the traditional product either. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to, you know, lower the car lower the carbon footprint with our traditional products, right. while still providing high performance, reliability, and 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 low emissions and low cost of ownership too. I mean, the more more we can take out in terms of making the engines and, and drive lines more efficient, the lower the cost to operate. Right, right. So all the solutions. We have got, nice. you know, we, we truly do have a, a, a wide range of solutions. Yeah. It's one of the, you know, exciting things about being part of Volvo Group. Yeah. Um, and we can cherry pick any solution from any Volvo Group company at Volvo Penta and turn it into yeah. um, a solution for our customers. Yeah. No, I like it. I'm glad we got a chance to talk with you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I know you're a busy guy. Thank you very much, Mike. Good luck yep. tomorrow Appreciate on your, your speech. No, it'll be interesting. I will, I will talk more about this tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. Is there any little tidbits you can share with us that we might hear tomorrow? I, you know, I don't want to take away from the excitement <laughs> tomorrow. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to watch. Yeah. So we'll be there. Again, Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.